welcome to Wild About Nature. I thought I'd do a quick video about the cinnabar moth. Now I've done several videos in the past on these guys, but this year seems to be a really, really good year for them, which is great news because I've seen numbers drop in the past, so they seem to be recovering. The caterpillars here for the cinnabar moth are poisonous, uh, hence the colour, the orangey black colour. They always prefer ragwort. Now, this is a demonised plant in the UK, but overly demonised because it doesn't pose as much threat as it's, it's given. Horses will, are said to eat it, and I've owned horses in the past, and they, they will eat it if they're starved of food, but generally it gives off a scent this plant that it doesn't want to be eaten because it doesn't spread or propagate by droppings it's an air pol and, and it does it by air aerosoling its seed so it doesn't want to be eaten so it gives off a horrible smell so the only way a horse will naturally eat it is if it's baled in hay or unnaturally eat it if it's baled in hay or if they're starved and they've nothing else to eat but generally it takes a lot to poison them and it has been demonized but it will if if ragwort goes so will these guys too. I'm sure there are other, uh, other host plants, but this is their main food plant. So it's a daytime flying moth in the UK. There are others uh, like the six spot bonnet, I think is a daytime moth. I'm sure there are several others, but this is the most prevalent one. And I thought I'd show you how they tend to eat the ragwort. They always like the tips where the flowers come out, as you can see here. They've been working steadily to eat all this and then they slowly work down the stem devouring the flowers the, the leaves as they go and you can see here they've they've worked their way about halfway down and you'll also get an idea of how many there are because uh, as I come down here you'll be able to see lots and lots more there we go just focus in there and see what such a, how such a good year it is I've never seen this many on one plant, but they really are doing well. Next year I expect to see loads of the, the cinnabar moth, which is Terea jacobae, if I haven't said it already. But look it up and have a read on it, because it's, it's an, an amazing uh, moth, and beautiful both in its caterpillar state and um, in its final form. It's also an opportunity to, to test out this new camera on that I've got a new iPad Pro and hopefully this will let me know how good that's going but if you do want to grow um, ragwort in your garden it won't hurt anything it's it it's said to be touch toxic but I've I handle it all the time but that might that, that could account for my men, mad state but generally uh, you know there's a lot of scaremongery about but, but be careful don't touch it with bare hands and if you you know it will grow naturally uh, if you if you have a wild garden and just let things go you'll you'll no, you'll notice these leaves coming up and then just leave them but obviously if you you know just be aware don't touch it if you'd rather not and the caterpillars will do the job for you as you can see here by the end of the day today these leaves will be completely gone and then they'll move to the bottom of the plant and literally head towards the scent of another plant, another ragwort which are growing elsewhere in the garden and start devouring that one. You know, the controlling ragwort is such an expensive job and these guys do it for free. This many caterpillars will devour this plant in, in a couple of days and they're, more importantly they're devouring the head first which is where the flowers will come and subsequently the seed pods so they do they are a natural form of, of control of this plant so why spend thousands of pounds on unnatural control when you can get these guys to do it for free anyway just a really quick video i hope you enjoyed it there sh should be some nice shots here and if you look on my channel there will be images of the fully formed moth as well i've got a very quick video um, if you look for cinnabar moth on my channel you'll you'll find it otherwise thanks for watching and like and subscribe and share on twitter stephen underscore where and we'll speak soon cheers